Whoa. What are these called? Hmm. Dun 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 Okay Jasmine Time's up Your answer is What is a golden barrel cactus? Wow You win the grand prize. Jima will be bringing you a barrel cactus and sending it in the mail. Just kidding. <laughs> Today's barrel cactus day. Hey Jazz Bear, as you notice today, I am sitting in front of a cactus. And I just found out from somebody who is a specialist on plants that this is called a golden barrel cactus. I'm going to tell you some fun facts about barrel cactuses. The barrel cactus can live to be about 50 to 100 years old and it can grow to be up to 10 feet tall. So huge! And it can be 18 to 30 inches around and even bigger so that's really a big round cactus. A barrel cactus called a fish hook barrel cactus is sometimes called a compass barrel because it will lean over to the southwest direction. And I wonder why it's called a fish hook cactus. Do you know why it's called a fish hook cactus? Are you ready to see some different kinds of barrel cactuses? Do you see the pretty little flowers on that? A golden barrel cactus. And the nice spiny things. Now this one is called a red barrel. These two right here actually. Red barrel cactuses. Is that amazing? A red barrel cactus. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Now look, here's a bug on the cactus. Oh, where is he? Oh, there he is. There's a bug. We don't want to pick him up because we don't know what kind of bug he is. Oh, well, there's another one. Well, he's cool. Speaking of flowers, that brought to mind a story about your mama, Sarah, and the African violets. When mama Sarah was really little, sometimes I would get an African violet. And you know, I think Papa got me those African violets as a present. And I would put them on the dresser that was in the living room. Because we didn't have a lot of space. So we had to put a dresser out there. And, let's see, Uncle Will slept in the living room. It was a small trailer. So, there was that beautiful purple African violet. Well, it's actually green and then sometimes it would grow these beautiful purple flowers and I would see them and go look look the the African violets growing purple but he'd run up there he was so excited about the flowers on the African violet in the living room and then as soon as the flower would grow I turn around and look at the the plant again and the flower would be gone this happened every single time. The flower would be gone. And it was mysterious. I didn't know what was happening to the flower. So I asked Mama Sarah and Uncle William, what's happening to the flowers? What's happening? They're, they're disappearing. And I don't remember, but I found out somehow that Mama Sarah was picking the flowers. Just like picking those flowers. Yeah. She was picking them. So I had a few talks with her and I was like, Bear Bear, why are you picking the flowers? And she probably told me because they were pretty or I want to pick a flower for you or I want to pick a flower or something. I don't know what she said. But we had a couple of talks about it and then she stopped picking the flowers. But 
I was thinking about that and it kind of made me laugh because she was so cute and innocent and pure and beautiful and I didn't care if she picked the flowers. It was just so cute and funny. Well, it's safe to say that there are golden barrels everywhere. Oh, I bet you Mama Sarah would pick those little flowers too. She did love nature and she did love flowers. Flowers. She was a flower herself, a beautiful flower, just like you, Jazz Baby. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flower. Yes. Oh, beautiful. We had the red barrel and the golden barrel, and we learned some fun facts about it. But you know what I still want to know? I still want to know why they call it the fish hook cactus. Do you think maybe a fish hook cactus has different... Let's take a look at this. Oh, let's take a look at the little spines on the cactus, and let's see if there's a difference, okay? Do, do any of them... Oh, looky! I wonder... You know, if the spines are curvy instead of straight and curvy like a fish hook. You went fishing before? If you went fishing before, you know how that fish hook does a little curve like that? I wonder if the fish hook barrel cactus has curvy, curvy little fish hook things. Well, I'll go and get some more video of some more barrel cactuses, okay? Wow, I did not notice that there were little cactuses growing on this big cactus. I think they have them on some of the cactuses like that, but I never noticed it. See? They're helping me notice things that I never noticed before. That's the great thing about having a granddaughter. Because you get to see the world in a brand new way because granddaughters are special. You get to discover things all over again. Ooh. Okay, I guess we'll go this way. I was just, whoa, look at this one. Ooh. Huh. Oh, look at this, a place to hang out. You got your stools here? Chill out with the grill. Ooh, big old grill. Eh, it's a nice gas range. Ooh, look what we got here. Soda. How much are the sodas? I don't know. I'm thinking about a dollar fifty, maybe. I don't know. Let's go like this. Let's go. Push the sprite button. Ooh, nothing came out. Look here, Jazz Bear. Got Doritos, Lay's, Bunions, Cheetos. I know you probably like that. Takis, Turbo Flames, Turbo Flamas. Turbo Flamas, so I guess that's flames. Potato Skins, Ruffles, Bugles, Gardettos, Cheese It, Famous Famous. Ooh, and all kinds of candy. That's got to be refrigerated because there's chocolate in there. Whoa. See, Jasper? And one of your mom's favorite things is the Danish cinnamon roll. Mm. Your mom used to like those big Texas sweet rolls. She used to think they were so cool. She'd be like, oh, I want to get one of those. I forgot what they called them. Texas cinnamon rolls or Texas sweet rolls. Something like that. They were giant though. They were like really big sweet rolls. Sometimes we would share them. And that was fun. Let's see if we can find some more cacti. Cacti. <laughs> Your mama loved them sweet rolls. Do you like them sweet rolls? You have to tell me which was your favorite cacti. And you have to tell me. Like, you have to call me on the phone and say, Jima, this was my favorite cacti. You gotta tell me that, okay? Yes. 
Here's another barrel cactus. They come in all shapes and sizes. That one's interesting. It even has a flower. A minute ago I saw a giant lizard. I hope I can catch him. Or something. Ooh, another lizard just ran by there. Look at this golden barrel. This is so pretty. It's so bright yellow and a bunch of little barrels. And there's one over there. Do you think those are like baby barrels? Look, baby barrels. That's what I'm thinking. That's a little tiny barrel and it's going to grow into a bigger barrel. I think they're all going to grow bigger. Here's another barrel cactus. Do you see how they come in so many different shapes? Each one is so unique. Oh my gosh, I keep seeing lizards. You gotta get me one. Here's a red barrel. And I think they're called red barrel and golden barrel. Why do you think this one's called a red barrel? And the other yellow ones are called golden barrels. Why do you think that is? So here's a whole big old herd of cactus. Golden burrow cactuses. Ooh, there's some more. Oh. oh my gosh. Hey. Okay, so that's our lesson about the barrel cactuses today. It's cactus. It's going to be cactus month. I think it's going to be cactus month. Barrel cactuses. There's a lot more cactuses to learn about. Yeah. Dee said that sometimes I read a little bit about a barrel cactus in it. There was a thing that said they always say that you could get a bunch of water out of a barrel cactus and survive in the desert, but what I found out was that it's really mushy and it's not really a lot of liquid and it takes like a lot of time. It's like slimy and mushy and kind of thick, so it's not like drinking a bunch of water. I think you have to do a lot of processes, but yeah, I suppose it could help a person survive if they really needed to. They said it's a real problem though. I always thought you just grabbed it and squeezed it like a lemon. Guess not. I love you, Jazz Bear. Mm. All right, Jazz Baby. Ooh, I love you, Jazz Bear. <laughs>